Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall. First of all, I want to apologize for the lack of videos last week. Um, there's a good reason for that. Um, I just needed a break. <laughs> yeah, I've been putting out so many videos lately that I kind of burned out temporarily, but I'm going to try to get back into the, to the groove again, starting with this video. Check out this haul I just brought home. Um, all of these computers were given to me by my aunt, the one who got me into computers to begin with back in 1995. And these were some of her old computers that she's collected over the years. She's downsizing some stuff, so dropped them over for me. I, she gave them to me um, this morning before church, and I brought them on home. So, um, let's start going through these. Um, we'll save that middle one for later because that's the most interesting. This one is the only um, computer she gave me that isn't a Dell. This is a custom-built computer. Um, what's unique about this computer is this was the, I believe, the first computer my church ever owned. This was custom-built for my church back in 1999. Um, a little spec sheet up here. It's got a Windows 98 second edition, 128 megabytes of RAM, um, CD-ROM, a CD-RW drive, a zip drive, zip 100 there, a 20 gig hard drive, which I need to give back to my aunt <laughs> for security reasons, a um, Yamaha sound card, um, I believe that's built into the motherboard, a um, ATI 3D Rage Pro video card, again built into the motherboard. A um, Intel 828, an, an Intel 82371EB um, Celeron. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, by the way, I'm not going to power these computers on in this video. Um, I'm too wore out. It's Sunday. And usually when I get home from church, I like to take a nap, and I haven't had that nap yet, so that takes priority. <laughs> and um, we can take a quick look at the back, I believe. Okay, here's the I.O. Standard uh, motherboard layout of the day. I hope this has ISA slots. That would be really nice to have. So I can have a sound card that will work with DOS. And again, audio is built in as well as the video. We've got our um, got an Ethernet card there and a um, dial-up modem card. All right, on to the next computer. All right, here's a computer I've owned one or two of before. This is a Dell Dimension 4600. Um, very standard issue, um, very common um, computer that you would have found back in the early to mid 2000s. I believe this was also used at church. I think it may have replaced that one down there we just looked at. By the way, sorry for the noise from the air conditioner. Um, let's see, we got a DVD ROM drive, a CDRW drive, floppy drive. It's got a um, Pentium 4, um, probably a Northwood of some kind. side there. Okay, here's the I.O. Has built-in audio, but that's blocked out because there's a a better sound card installed. USB 2.0 ports there. Got a video card, I don't know what that is. A sound card, again, I don't know what it is, probably a creative card. And a modem. We might be able to open this up pretty easily. Okay, I had to do it off camera. But um, here's the inside. Got a hard drive there again. I need to give that back to my aunt. Got some RAM there. I'm not sure what the capacity is. Let's just take out one of these. Two fifty six, and I'll assume the other stick is two fifty six, meaning this computer probably has five hundred and twelve megabytes. This computer was probably built sometime in two thousand three, two thousand four. I want to say. 
again, it's got a Pentium 4 in there. I don't know what it is exactly. The video card, um, I can't say for sure what that is. The sound card is indeed a creative card. Probably one of the Sound Blaster Live 5.1 cards that were popular back in the 2000s. Okay, I popped the video card out and I don't know the exact model number, but it is a NVIDIA card. There's really no way of telling what this is exactly. If um, any, any of you can read any of these numbers and figure out what it is, please let me know. Okay, here's another computer um, whose model that I've previously owned before in the past. This is a Dell Dimension 4100. Um, these make really, really good Windows 98 machines, despite the fact they lack a um, ISA slot. So, not really recommended for DOS gaming, but for 95, 98 stuff. These are very solid machines. Highly recommend them. Used to have one, had to sell it, but I'm happy with what I got now for a 98 machine. So, on the front we got a um, CD-ROM drive, a CD-RW drive, I believe this is not original, and a floppy drive. Um, I believe my aunt bought this at a um, yard sale at church about 10 years ago. That's how she came to own it. Okay, here's your rear I.O. Got a video card probably AGP, um, a uh, Ethernet card, and a very basic looking sound card with no game port. So, um, just we can take a quick look inside. Okay, here's the inside, and just as I suspected, no ISA slot. Oh well. Um, looks like we got a, um, ATI Rage 128 Pro. I actually have one of these in one of my 98 builds. Um, highly recommend these cards because they work with everything and they're very powerful and you can pretty much do anything with them. Uh, got some memory in there. I don't know what the size is. Uh, probably 128 if I had to guess. Um, looks to be a Mac Store hard drive. Again, can't keep that hard drive. Floppy drive, the two optical drives there. And so, yeah, nothing too exciting here. I um, do not know what sound card that is. It says Audio PCI 27. I'm not sure who the manufacturer of that is, but anyway, um, who knows? Maybe it does have good DOS support on that card. These computers can surprise you. And I don't know what the processor is in here, but I'm 90% sure it's some type of Pentium 3. Because that's what my last 4100 had. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next computer. Okay, here's a computer um, that I've actually worked on before for my aunt. And I now own it. This is a Dell Dimension 8200. She purchased this brand new from Dell back in 2001. This was the first computer she had after the Gateway 2000. And um, she used it for many, many years up until um, 2008, I want to say, when she replaced it with that behemoth there, which we'll take a look at shortly. So, um, yeah, very nice little computer for the time. Again, Pentium 4, not sure of what type or what speed. These were very popular computers um, back in the day. And I can see why. These were very um, reliable computers. And that thing is loose. Flip her around. Now, um, this power supply right here is not original because I actually had to replace it for her back in 2010. She was using this as her secondary computer at the time and the power supply decided to just um, commit suicide. <laughs> so I had, so she brought it down here to Greensboro and I um, threw a much nicer power supply in there um, and it's worked ever since, supposedly. So, um, and that's why 
the case is kind of falling apart because when I had to open this up back in 2010, the uh, I had a heck of a time getting it open and closed because these these Dell clamshell cases are a pain in the butt to work in <laughs> because they're impossible to open, impossible to close. And that's why the plastic looks all um, out of place right here. So, um, IO there, I believe that's only USB 1. Video card, not sure what kind. I do know what sound card this is because I had a heck of a time finding drivers for it when I had to reinstall Windows XP on this computer back in 2010. This is a Turtle Beach um, 5 to 1 surround sound sound card. And I actually and she actually gave me the speakers that go with it. Um, this was actually a few months ago, but I'm currently using them on my main computer here. They're Altec Lansings with the biggest subwoofer I've ever seen. <laughs> and um, these are 5 to 1 speakers, but I'm only using the front two speakers right now because um, I just don't have room for any more speakers. <laughs> but they're good speakers though. Uh, Dial-up modem and a um, Ethernet card. Again, because this computer is a pain in the butt to open and close, we will take a look inside in a um, future video because I just don't feel like fooling with that tonight today. <laughs> Alright, the moment you've been waiting for. Time to look at this bad boy. Goodness gracious, I don't know if I can get this computer all in one sh in one shot here. It's so big. <laughs> I don't know the exact model number, but this is a Dell XPS tower. It's most certainly a tower and a half. <laughs> she bought this new in um, early 2008. It's what replaced the um, 8200 down there. And she went all out on this computer when she specced it. Um, it. This has pretty much the greatest hardware you could possibly own in 2008. And yeah, <laughs> I was always jealous of this computer when I would come over to her house. It was um, very powerful, more powerful than I ever owned at the time. Um, so let's turn it around actually first. We got a um, optical drive up there, uh, it's like just a plain DVD-ROM. And down here a DVD-RW drive and just blanks down here. And I think if we pull this down, yep, we get nothing. <laughs> I think these are some empty 3.5 inch um, brackets. So, um, yeah, I figured there'd be a card reader there. but. We have a manufacture date. Um, looks like it was built um, January 21st, 2008. And you get a microphone and headphone, two USB 2.0s, and a FireWire port. Um, specs of this, I know it has a, a um, Intel Core 2 Quad. I always thought it had a Core 2 Duo, but when I brought it home a while ago, um, I looked at the sticker closer and it's a Core 2 Quad. Um, has four gigs of RAM and um, I don't know what kind of hard drive it has because my aunt already took it out. <laughs> but I have an SSD I can put in here with that should get this computer going no problem. Um, it, what's interesting about this is this was built in 2008 when the latest most greatest version of Windows was Windows Vista. And this was at the time when nobody liked Windows Vista. It was um, considered um, the devil itself. Um, it was making children cry at the very sight of it. <laughs> and um, I hate to admit this, but I was one of those people that didn't really care for Vista at the time. Um, around the same time my aunt got this computer, I got a computer myself. It was a uh, Dell Vostro 1500 laptop. And the reason, one of the reasons why I got it was it was one of the computers Dell offered at the time where you could still get it with Windows XP instead of Windows Vista. And they offered the same uh, thing for this computer, and my aunt went with Windows XP instead of um, Vista. I believe this came with XP Media Center 2005, more than likely, I think, in fact, I'm pretty sure it did. So... Oh, man. 
this is not a very light computer. This is probably about the size of a Gateway 2000. Okay, I can confirm it had XP Media Center 2005 because I see the COA for it. Got a power supply with the cord still hanging out of it. Um, again, the sound card on the motherboard's blocked out. PS2 mouse and keyboard, that's surprising. Bunch of USB 2s. Um, video card, I don't, I'm not sure what kind, but I'm sure it was incredibly awesome. And a gold-plated sound card. Um, probably a Sound Blaster Autogy of some sort, if I had to guess. Let's see if we can make an attempt at opening this. Okay. <laughs> you know your computer means business when you're when the motherboard is red. <laughs> so, um, what have we got in here? Well, we got a whole bunch of drive bays, for one thing. Um, our Core 2 Quad is under that. Again, I'm not sure what kind. Um... Wow, oh, look at those massive heat sinks. Um, this is... I've, um... been familiar with this computer for ten years now, but... this is the first time I've had a look inside of it. And that is a NVIDIA card. I can't tell you what kind. But it looks very, very beefy. And... Presumably, if I put the service tag into Dell's website, it'll probably tell me what card it is. Oh, man, this is a beast. Seriously. <laughs> Does it have... <laughs> I wonder if it has um, a floppy connector. Was a lot of Dell's did at the time. I don't think it does, which it's not really all that surprising considering um, the kind of computer we're dealing with here. How, how big is this power supply? Um, it's a high pro. Uh, Seven hundred and fifty watts. Whoa! <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I've never had a power supply that powerful before. Now, how reliable it is, I don't know, but ten years later, uh, supposedly it still works. Um, my aunt said she was having trouble keeping this um, side panel on. I may have to look into that, but yeah. What a beast, and I look forward to trying this computer out sometime this week. Not today, because it's Sunday. I need my nap. <laughs> All right, that'll about do it for this video. I want to thank my aunt once again for um, this very generous um, donation to my collection. Um, I should be doing videos about each individual computer, setting them up and everything um, at a later time. Again, I need my rest, and plus I'm very, very sweaty. It's uh, yet another humid day here in North Carolina because it's August, I guess, but... Yeah, custom built, Dell Dimension 4600, Dell XPS, Dell Dimension 8200, and a Dell Dimension 4100. So yeah, um, very excited to have these in the collection, and I hope you are too. Um, so until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The link to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.